Hi guys, my name is Sobi. Welcome back. Um, today we're gonna talk about Fibonacci. <laughs> um, in a short example, Fibonacci is the recursive function which calls itself. Maybe you've learned this in school, maybe not, but um, in programming we use it often and uh, when we learn it in the school we don't pay attention to it but uh, during programming we really really use it so i will show it to you how how does this work how does this uh, look like and uh, actually we will generate the categories for our next project or our current project uh, which would be a small e-commerce shop and um, i will explain to you how the recursivity works for this kind of uh, categorization or hier hierarchies okay so let's get started and uh, see how does this work so this is the Fibonacci number uh, maybe you saw this graph it's the infinite loop until it reaches the end and also if you do a lot of um, interviews different binary searches and researches you will use this uh, recursivity a lot Okay, but it's not math time. Uh, today is programming time and uh, let's get started. So I'm not gonna code everything from the scratch, but um, we will create the uh, res resource controller, the API resource controller, and uh, we will get started from there. PHP artisan make controller admin category resource resource controller resource okay so the controller is ready here's the resource so first of all we have to do the um, let's do the index method which will return all our all of the categories but now we will return only one category so I have a small snippet here okay let's just copy this and also i do want to do something with the user controller just to copy these uh, functionalities okay this will be in a try catch sorry try catch and it will be an exception and let's copy this sorry i'm used to working with the, with the mouse but at home i don't have the mouse so no worries about that okay so let's see what what is here do we get if categories count greater than zero we will return this otherwise we will return uh, something okay category could not be found the description is a private description this endpoint returns the categories Categor categories and it's recursive children okay this will be the description as it's seen but this it should be string also okay data will be null here okay i'm oh, not here sorry data here will be null category could not be found results for current category description and the data will be let's do something like this categories category 
and it will be categories or let's say it this will be category because we will use it by id not by this it will be the id and here would be id okay so we have this but uh, i think it's not id it will be called category because we will use resource controller okay category data let's say it like this okay so let's register this in the api so this will be a route and i will duplicate this category uh, also this could be grouped into the admin but we will do it that later and let's say category resource controller class and show store update and destroy okay so this should be in the show method then show do we have the show no we don't have the show okay let's do it public function show category category okay so let's see how our routes look sorry route list we have an error it says that the cannot declare okay oh, so we have the show but where is it show okay we have it here okay let's run it again okay so we have the category get put delete category show update and destroy and store of course okay so let's test this out we go to the post postman create create a new request um new okay collection it will be categories okay add the request just to test it this will be the put method uh post method sorry uh get because we will <laughs> i'm sorry uh get category okay and uh, it will be categories i believe so category and the id and let's see what categories do we have in the database okay let's say for example 21 category 21 okay we have the problem accepts json application and the authorization it will be from here bear token and let's add our, add our token okay i have a small problem but we'll fix that later and let's say token token sorry not this one but this one okay good okay let's see now so call to member function count on array it's not working of course let's see why so category data we've transformed it into an array but we shouldn't know and let's see it now and we have the categories because i did already everything uh, we have the categorization and the recursivity so let's let me just show you the code what i've done so we have first of all we, we've created the migration categories which has the id the parent id which will be indexed because we will do a lot of searches by this and also we have the name and the slug so the slug will be actually the name but slugged 
And uh, let me show you how that works. I've created a category factory, which has the name, and this is the string helper from Laravel, and we use this, this log. And if you uh, see the def default separator, it's a dash line. So we, we didn't need to change this, not at the moment. Okay. And we made a seeder, which creates 100 categories, and each of the categories has three children. Okay, so I did run that seeder. We have the database seeder also, and uh, everything works fine. And it generated all the one 400 because I ran it four times, 400 uh, categories. And um, now we've created a resource controller. Um, the resource controller, and uh, this is how the um, category works with the recursivity. So let's go to the model, to the uh, category model to explain how the child parent recursivity works. Okay, so let me go back here and let's go to the category. Category. So first of all, we've uh, mentioned that this is fillable if we will create it later. Uh, manually from the API in the Vue.js. The protected table, it's called categories. And after that, we have the children. So basically every category may have as many children as they would like. So there is no limit to that. And uh, I'm not returning everything by default. I'm returning only the ID, parent ID, name, and slog. Now, every children or every category may have as many parents as they wish. So they can have infinite parents if you would like. And now the, the trick is coming from here. It's a, it's a method called children or children recursive. Uh, this returns all the children with the recursivity. So the children is calling itself itself again and again until it doesn't find a new children for it. So uh, in this case, when we return the results, you will see that we have the children recursive empty. Okay. So um, if I create another table, uh, another, um, for example, let's see which ID is here. We will add a new children for the ID 24 and it will go down one level. Okay. And uh, this will be the 24. The ID and it will have three children. Let's check this. As you can see, it went down three levels again. And this is how a simple page works. And if we go to Amazon.com, for example, we have this categorization. When we can go by category computer accessories, it's category one. If you go to the computer accessories peripherals, we go another level. If we go to game hardware, another level. PC game hardware, another level. Controllers, another level. So this is what we've done um, in Laravel in, in a few lines. So actually, this is uh, for this uh, recursivity. We've used the power of Laravel called Eloquent ORM. Uh, because we didn't have to write any um, MySQL queries or different uh, uh, loops, but we've used this uh, eloquent ORM, it's called, and um, uh, basically we use the relationship methods and uh, we've called it itself uh, again and again until there were no results. So. Uh, if you would like a deeper understanding on how this uh, relationship work, it's it's a basic fundamentals of the Laravel. I'm not getting into this because it's way too simple, but uh, you may check it out and uh, you may learn a lot of things. So thank you for watching today's episode. See you in the next one when we when we will implement the categories uh, directly in the uh, Vue.js application and we will create those categories manually and we will also edit them or delete them and assign them to the categories. Okay, thank you. See you in the next one. Cheers.